You are now watching Showbiz Snap, your daily showbiz update. Mula nga po sa FB page ng isang nagangalang Jean Espra, narito po ang naging pahayag po ng uh, press statement regarding the Filipina caregiver in Taiwan who posted of nasty and malevolent materials against President Duterte. Dahil kailan, makailan lamang po may OFW na tila nag-alamistika, no? uh, medyo nagmura at kung ano-anong hindi magagandang uh, bagay o salita ang ibinato nga po kay President Duterte. Kaya naman narito po ang labor attached Fidel B. Makawayag uh, press statement. Sa Polo Taichung International Labor Affairs Bureau, we are constrained to act for the deportation of a Filipina working as caregiver in Taiwan for the crime of cyber libel for willful posting of nasty and malevolent materials against President Duterte on Facebook intended to cause hatred amidst the global health crisis brought about by the pandemic. The caregiver, Elanel Egot Ordidor, is employed in Yunlin County, Taiwan. On 20 April 2020, we went to her workplace to enlighten her that her actions amounted to a crime for which she might be prosecuted both in Taiwan and the Philippines. Ordidor was cooperative and cordial at first and committed to delete all her uploaded videos against the president and promised not to do it again. She also promised to upload a video of her public apology to the president and the people in the government at 9 p.m. of the same day. However, hours after the visit, several posts were seen on the Polo Taichung Facebook page from several fake accounts assuring Miss Ordidor's cause and further giving her assurance of support. It has come to our knowledge that Miss Ordidor is using several social media accounts among which are Lenel Elanel Igot Maria Landi, Lin Silawan, and Hampas Lupa and has a group organized to discredit and malign the president and destabilize the government. Due to her acts, Polo coordinated with her broker and employer on her deportation on the basis of the gravity of Ordidor's offense under Philippines law. The sharing and posting of such videos are punishable under cyber libel under Republic Act Number no. 10175. Yan po. Binigyan naman po pala siya ng chance na maging maayos pero gumawa pa po siya ng isang bagay na dapat ay hindi niya gawin. So parang ang nangyari, uh, nag-promise siya na magkakaroon siya ng public apology but ang nangyari po ay parang gumawa siya ng uh, maraming accounts na parang isalba yung kanyang sarili. No? And uh, this is not, kumbaga parang hindi na ito pinalusot pa. Kaya naman um, deportation, so at least makakauwi pa siya ng Pilipinas and hindi po siya ikinulong doon. Which is may karapatan po ang Taiwan na gawin yun because nasa jurisdiction po nila ang OFW na ito. Pero sa ngayon, uh, deport po ang naging penalty niya. Kaya naman po uwi siya ng Pilipinas. And uh, bilang isang OFW, I think makakukuha naman po siya ng um, parang uh, sa... Owa, no, na kahit pa paano ay makakatulong sa kanya para makapagsimula dito sa Pilipinas. So, minsan our actions uh, pwedeng maging hindi magandang bagay. no. Although sisikat ka, gagawa ka ng mga bagay na hindi mo alam na ito pala ay hindi magiging maganda ang result. So, lesson learned especially sa mga tao na maraming opinion. So, mas maganda na ipag-pray natin ang ating uh, mga leaders no dahil sobrang napakabigat ng uh, pasan-pasan nila ngayon at hindi makakatulong ang mga pagtuliksa. I think ko ano man yung nangyayari no hindi hindi maganda ang tuliksa in pa ang gobyerno but of course tulungan kung paano tayo makakagaang sa mga sa napakabigat na balikat na pinapasan po ng ating mga leaders. So, yun po ang ating showbiz snap update. Ano po ang masasabi nyo sa ating article na ito? Ilagay lamang po ang inyong opinion sa ating comment section. And, um, news, credit to the owners. Uh, photos, credit to the owners. Thank you for watching. Showbiz snap.